Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. The sequence, which goes negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, and so on and so forth, diverges. Now, to prove this theorem, we are going to assume for a contradiction this sequence instead converges. We'll say that the sequence converges to the value x. Now, what does this mean? Well, by the definition of the limit of a sequence, it means the following. It means for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a positive integer k, such that for all positive integers n greater than or equal to k, the absolute value of negative one to the power of n minus x is less than epsilon. Now, because we're saying that this is true, this means we're saying that this statement is true. And this statement works for every positive real number. So in particular, it must work for the positive real number one. So taking epsilon to be one, we have that this is true. So there is some positive integer k such that for all positive integers n greater than or equal to k, the absolute value of negative 1 to the power of n minus x is less than 1. Now, of course, there is some even integer greater than or equal to k. Let's call that integer q. Well, since this statement works for every integer greater than or equal to k, it must work in particular for q. So taking n to be q, we have that the absolute value of negative 1 to the power of q minus x is less than 1. And since q is even, we have that negative 1 to the power of q is equal to 1. So the absolute value of 1 minus x is less than 1. Also, we can apply this statement to q plus 1. So we have that the absolute value of negative 1 to the power of q plus 1 minus x is less than 1. Well, since q is even, q plus 1 is odd. So negative 1 to the power of q plus 1 must be equal to negative 1. So we have absolute value of negative 1 minus x and just because I don't like to see it look like this, I'm going to rewrite this as absolute value of 1 plus x. Right? These two are equal to each other. So now we see that the absolute value of 1 plus x is less than 1. So putting this together, we had that absolute value 1 minus x is less than 1, and absolute value 1 plus x is less than 1. Adding these two inequalities together, we get that absolute value of 1 minus x plus absolute value of 1 plus x is less than 1 plus 1. In other words, it's less than 2. And from the triangle inequality, the absolute value of this plus the absolute value of this must be greater than or equal to the absolute value of 1 plus x plus 1 minus x. So just like that. But if we add up everything in the inside, the x's cancel out. So this is just the absolute value of 1 plus 1, which is just the absolute value of 2, which is equal to 2. So this tells us that 2 is less than 2. So we've reached a contradiction. Our assumption that this sequence converges led us to a contradiction, so we must instead have that this sequence diverges. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.